We spoke with the daughter of Hosea Williams, an American civil rights leader who worked with MLK Jr. and continues that legacy. Atlanta Bureau Chief Archith Sashadri has that story. Martin Luther King Day is observed on the third Monday of January every year and is now in its 55th year of observance. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in Atlanta and was shot and killed in Memphis back in 1968. My name is Elizabeth Omalami, and I am the daughter of Hosea Williams, uh, one of Martin Luther King's executive staff members. I am an activist. I am also an actress, a grandmother, a wife. Elizabeth Omalami remembers the 1960s well. Black Americans just had an opportunity, got tired of being oppressed in housing, in jobs, in education, in income. Black people needed a, a, a leader, and Martin Luther King was a divinely appointed. This is Fellowship Hall inside Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta's Sweet Auburn District. It's the place where Martin Luther King Jr., John Lewis, Andrew Young, and Hosea Williams would meet, gather, and strategize. While the kids would wait downstairs here, the parents would pray and meet upstairs. It's also the place where many of the marchers were fed before they went out and fought for justice. This is extremely emotional for me because I was raised running up and down the steps here. This is the heart. You're right in the middle of the heart chakra of the civil rights movement and how it spread internationally from this place. King's message of social change still resonates with Omalami, who runs Hosea Feed the Hungry, helping Atlanta's homeless population. I think each individual has to ask themselves, if I was on my deathbed, what would I want them to say about me? Would I want them to say I had a great big house, great car, had all these uh, condominiums, or would I want them to say I help humanity? Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. would have turned 94 this year. He was shot and killed at the age of 39. Reporting in Atlanta, Archit Sashadri, Atlanta Bureau Chief. Archer, thanks. Now, tomorrow, President Biden and Senator Raphael Warnock will speak at Ebenezer Baptist Church. It will be live streamed on their website.